Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your three month forecast. Uh, keep in mind that this reading is not um, really time specific, and it may not be for you. So, we get people that watch these and they watch readings and they think that every reading is for them. Not every reading is for you. This may or may not be for you. Um, the timing on this. Month one, you know, timing is fluid. But month one would be the first 30 days. Month two would be the next 30 days. Month three, the 30 days after that. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for month number one? Month number two. Month number two. And month number three. Month number three. Month number one, please, for Scorpio. Month number two for Scorpio. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three. Okay, so month number one, please, for Scorpio. Month number one. Month number two, please. And month number three, month number three. And an overall energy for the next three months. An overall energy. One card, please, for the next three months for Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. So we got somebody here that is not wanting to share, not wanting to give, not wanting to give anything. Take a look at this person. This person is sitting on uh, it's like sitting on what they have. I don't want you to see it. I'm not giving anything to you. Don't come near me. It's like protecting. We have somebody here that is protecting their assets, protecting what they have, protecting themselves. This person is, I, I don't have nothing to give. I'm not giving anything. Okay. So we have somebody here that is in, in protection mode for sure. Okay. The next three months. I mean, if you take it, this guy's not letting anybody to into his, uh, you know, savings into his his life or whatever. It's like the, very, very protective. Not opening up. Not giving you anything. So for the next three months, I see you guys as, I mean, this person is very stubborn too. It's just like weary, very, very weary. What's up? What's up? Before, you know, it's basically like, show me what you have to offer before I give you anything. Because I'm not giving you anything until you, you know, prove yourself to me. So what do we have for Scorpio? Personal power. Wow. Makes sense, huh? serendipity now this is good luck four leaf clover this is good luck 
Now, serendipity is a fortunate accident, right? It is. It's when you you uh, meet somebody by accident and there's some sort of connection. But it feels like it's a lucky break, okay? It's a lucky break. But, you know, there's some sort of resistance here. This could even be an obsession. You know, it's very interesting here. You, it's like we have somebody here that doesn't want to open up. It's like they probably have a connection here, but they're not seeing it because they're so resistant to give. It's like I'm very protective of myself. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, The Star. Focus this out just a tiny little bit. So we have some sort of betrayal here. Could be a betrayal of, of you know maybe your friends, maybe your family, something like that. Or it could be a partner. There's been a, there's somebody has been ghosted, left behind. Five of Pentacles. There's some sort of insecurities here. It's cold. It's very very cold. Somebody is feeling left out in the cold. There's an opportunity to go in, but it's like you're you're allowing yourself to be out in the cold. You're you're allowing it. Somebody is, you know, choosing it. It's they're choosing to be on the outside when they could be on the inside, and that makes sense. So it's like somebody is choosing to be on the outside. Maybe it is a form of personal power. We do have somebody here that is is has been betrayed this person has been betrayed this person is still suffering they're hurting they're about ready to make a move though we have somebody that has been in a state of suspension and it looks like they're still stuck still hung up on something could be hung up on a uh, third party situation okay somebody could be hung up on that they're hung up on the fact that they were ghosted that they were left out in the cold it's like somebody has been wasting their time sacrificing themselves needlessly for the person that betrayed them thinking this person is going to come back and save them this person is not going to come back and save you there's a reason why things don't work out i feel like it's it's time to move on i feel like you are you some it's like somebody has, is entering the scene that it can help you to get to a better place they can help you to get unstuck you may meet this person at a gathering could be out socializing you can meet them on social media um, you can meet them through your friends, could be a friend of a friend of a friend, that kind of thing. Probably you can meet these, this person at a bar if you're single, okay? Um, there could be, you could be out celebrating with your friends, you know, trying to get over this, whatever, this ghosting, this being left behind. And this person, you know, there's an opportunity, you might meet somebody suddenly, you know, out of the blue, but you don't open up to this person because of your fear of being betrayed again. You're still hung up on somebody. This is being hung up on somebody. For, so for this person that is watching this, that is going to say, I'm not hung up on anybody, then this par portion of the reading is not for you. Um, the Six of Swords is moving on. This is somebody that decides to move on and go after wish fulfillment. Now, this is the star card is a wish being granted. So it's like this is an opportunity for a wish to be granted for you. But you have to you have to break free of, from whatever it is that you're hanging on to. So, yes, we're definitely going to get somebody here that says I'm not hanging on to anything. Well, what the hell is this card then? I'm really sick of people saying shit like that. Then the reading isn't for you. Somebody is hanging on to something, sacrificing themselves, needlessly wasting their time. And this is mental. This is mental. Okay? Whether you are hanging on to a person physically or not, you could be hanging on to bitterness. Okay? You could be hanging on to the fear because you were stabbed. You could be, and I do see somebody's protecting themselves. You could be protecting yourself subconsciously. Anyway, this the star card is a wish being granted. It's like the universe grants a wish um, 
and this is an opportunity to move to a better place or move in a better direction if you can just open up and let this person help you. Let this person go inside. Let this person get inside you. Give this person an opportunity to help you, to rescue you, to help you, to, you know, open up again. So I feel like month number one, you guys are still in a state of suspension, holding on to something that really doesn't serve you for some unknown reason. Feels as though you may be moving on, though. I don't know. The Six of Swords is an opportunity to get to a better place and leave that mental conflict behind, leave the abandonment behind. It feels as though with the Star Card, it's a time of hope, it's a time of inspiration, it's a time of renewal. Um... I do feel as though a wish is being granted. I think the universe is bringing you together with somebody unexpectedly. But the fact that you are still hung up on something is a problem. It is definitely a problem here. Um, I see this first month, a month of out, you know, maybe partying, having fun, mingling perhaps. Even if it's on social media, it's mingling, it's... it's um, putting in effort, putting in effort to move on. So I think that you guys are probably trying. You're probably trying to move on from somebody that left you behind, somebody that didn't want you, abandoned you. It's like you're trying to move on. You're putting in effort. You're working hard. But the hangman is still stuck. Four of Swords. Yes, if this is uh, holding on to old ideas, holding on to old ways. The Four of Swords, that's what the Four of Swords is. You know, I think that you guys are definitely needing, you're, you're in a state of, definitely in a state of limbo. It's like you're not quite ready, even though you want attention, right? You, 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 you want um, happiness, right? You, you, you have these wishes that you want to be granted, but rejection really is God's protection. It's, it's almost like you're wishing for the wrong one. Interesting. So working hard to move on, but still hanging on, resisting change, and this is holding on to old ideas. You know, if you don't change your thoughts, there's some sort of thought that needs to be changed with these two cards right here. Your way of thinking needs to change. And that's when people start to get pissed when it's like, no, I'm not changing anything. Well, if you don't change anything, then you're going to be, you're going to continue to be stuck. We change as we age. We change as we grow. We change with every experience. And we have somebody here that is resisting change. No doubt. Seriously. Seriously. And it's causing problems. This is restricting yourself, not seeing the light, keeping a mask on, not seeing the truth. This is like refusing to see the truth, refusing to open your eyes, refusing to see. This is, this is a, your stalemate. It's like you, you, you have a painful choice that you need to make in regards, this is one way or the other, it's a two. What are you going to do? It's like you're blocking, you're blocking your emotions, you're blocking anybody from coming into your life because of previous pain, previous rejection. Definitely unable to, refusing to see the truth, refusing to see that the person, that the person that abandoned you or the person that betrayed you, they weren't, that was, it wasn't meant to be, okay? So I feel like you are, you are going to come together with somebody out of the blue very suddenly this month. And there is an opportunity to uh, have fun with this person, to get to know this person. This is this is probably this could lead to a dream come true. It should, could, this is like somebody that you uh, you know the real kind of person that you have asked for. 
But it's like you don't want to give this person a chance. It's like you have your eye on one person and one person only. There's definitely a power struggle here. Definitely going back and forth, back and forth. What do I want to do? Do I want to let go or do I want to hang on? I think there is uh, definitely some sort of tension here. I think that... There's some choices that need to be made in this month... Do you want to keep hanging on to this dead end or do you want to go out and have some fun and be with somebody else? I feel like month number one, we have somebody here that is going to suddenly, out of the blue, come together with somebody. Okay, and it could come, this could happen under unfortunate circumstances. Okay. This could be, you could be brought together with this person through some, I think this is that, you meet this person at a celebration. This could even be like a, I don't know if it's a, if it's a funeral, and I, I don't like to say that, but that's what I, it could be a funeral, it could be a party, a celebration, an anniversary party, um, it could be at work even, you could meet this person at work, um, or the bar. <laughs> I see the bar here because this is, you know, how they have this at the bar and this is like drinking. You could, you meet this person, uh, suddenly. Okay. And this person can help you to get unstuck from whatever it is that you're hanging on to. to. They can help you to escape something, some sort of pain that you have been suffering, but you have to allow it. You have to open up to this person. This could be who you asked for, but in a different way. It's like you wished for the perfect match. This is just an example. You wished for the one, right? But you can't put a name on that one. You can't, and that's a problem. That is a problem here. It's like the universe answers your wish, but in not in the way that you expected. Month number one. Let's, I'm not going to read this one because we know what serendipity is, but personal power. I mean, we know what that is too. You're going to have the power. You have the power of choice. It's your choice. So month number one, you are going, I don't even need to read this one either. You have the power of choice this month. You can stay down and you can keep those swords in your back and let the person that hurt you keep control or you can take back control of your life and go out and have fun and mingle and and start something new with somebody else month number 1 we do have an opportunity for two people to come in come together it is going to happen you are going to run into somebody under unfortunate circumstances this could be the person that you have been dreaming of this could be the person, you know, that they have the, this is, could be a dream come true. But if you don't open up to them, then, you know, you could lose the opportunity. It could end very quickly if you're still hanging on to something. Somebody is hanging on, sacrificing themselves needlessly. Now, when you think about serendipity, a fortunate accident, perhaps something, the accident was something that didn't last, something that didn't work out. And it's going to bring you something that is you know, much better. Anyhow, um, you guys may be moving. You may be moving to a different place. I see you moving on, working hard to move on from something. Maybe you are, you're in your car and you drive to this place and you meet this person. It could have something to do with a vehicle. Um, there could even be a get-together where there's a bunch of food, you know, and just saying, I just see that as well. Um, either way, there is unfortunate circumstances that bring two people together and you are going to be involved. Whether you open up to this person or not, it's going to be your choice. And that is month number one.
month number two rest rest and you may need to take a break because in month number one we had the four of swords over here so month number two you may need to take a break rejuvenate your soul you know if you guys have been hung up on something and you got to break free from it you may need to take a serious break it's hard to let go it's hard to let go of something you've been hanging on to you know that you've been resisting letting go of so rest unfinished symphony so there's something that is unfinished we are going to read that one nine of pentacles on your own somebody is going their own way this is a hard worker this is somebody who is very self-sufficient this is somebody that you know is just enjoying life this uh, you know i'm just taking care of business by themselves you know cleaning uh going to the store going to work coming home relaxing you know just just minding your own business you know this is i'm doing what i gotta do just just living living my life so we have somebody here that is, is month number two. You may be just like, I'm doing my own thing. And this is peaceful. It's a very peaceful doing my own the kind of thing. This is somebody that is very abundant. They have their, they have everything they need. I don't really need to give my energy to anybody else but myself. So this, I think that month number two is probably going to be a more relaxing month by the looks of things. just enjoying your life you know I'm just doing my day-to-day -day stuff six of wands making progress the fool starting from scratch page of swords that is some sort of this is like I feel like this is setting an intention it's like de deciding to do something. Somebody may be deciding to communicate with you. You're just enjoying your life. This person may be a little bit younger. Um, seven of Wands. Four of Wands. We have a lot of fire energy here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel as though month number two, you're going to be starting fresh. You're going to be starting with a clean slate. This is taking risks. This is exciting. This is an exciting new opportunity here. It's like you're sitting back. You're enjoying life. You're doing things. You're not even, it's like you're just focused on yourself. You know, you're just, whatever, your home, your work, your job, yourself. You know, you're not worried about anybody or anything. You know, um, and it feels like people are recognizing you. You're being recognized by somebody. Somebody sees your strength because this is a card of strength. Like somebody sees your um, positive energy. This is a very positive energy. It's like they see it. This is being recognized and this one is too. So I think that somebody recognizes your easy nature you know it's like they see your your ease and that you're definitely being recognized in month number two you may have multiple people this is this is like the seven of wands you may have multiple people when you are in this energy of nine of pentacles you are single and you're loving it and you're not looking there's everybody wants you that's what it really is and you may not see it you may not see it you're not focused on it you're focused on your own life it looks like you have multiple options here with this seven it's like you're going to be pushing people away by the end of month number two it feels like you're going to be pushing people away okay you know pushing people you know it's like just back up i don't want anybody that kind of thing I just feel like month number two is going to be more of an exciting month, even though you may not want it to be. I think it starts out as very, you know, low. I mean, not low. This is positive, but it's like you're not looking. Okay, you're not looking for anything. You're working on yourself. You're at home. You're cleaning, doing your everyday duties, whatever. And that life is good. Okay, it starts out like that. And you got this person that just, I think there's more than one person, by the way. 
I think that uh, many people are go are recognizing you for some reason. Maybe it's that easy. I think it's that easy nature that you're, or that e that aura that you're putting out. It's very much at ease. Anyway, I feel like um, there's going to be a new beginning here. By the end or the middle of the second month, there's going to be an opportunity for you to do something with somebody. I think it's risky. Whether you choose to let this person in or not, this is risky. Um, I think that there's definitely some a, a reason to celebrate. I think this is an opportunity uh, to really have some fun with somebody. I think this is a more going to be a very fun, fun month. You're not even looking for it, and here it is. All of a sudden, it's like you got somebody here that is high energy. This person is high energy, and it's like they they take you they take you right off your ass. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, let's go. That's what it is. It's like, come on, we're going to go do this. We're going to go do that. This person is very feisty. It's like they, they just take you along for the ride. And it's like, wow, wow. You know, I just, I, I feel like, um, whoever this person is, and this person may come in the month before that unfortunate accident. This person, it could lead to a commitment. It could even lead to marriage. It could lead to a lot of happiness. Definitely a lot of fun. This person is a lot of fun. And I think that you will be having fun this month. Um, stepping into unknown territory. But the Seven of Wands is is like... You're probably going to feel, you You may feel like you, this is too much for you. You may feel like there's so many people watching you or there's so many people after your attention or you may feel like you're too busy or there's too many irons in the fire. Something, you may feel like there's too many demands, like you're, you, you know, right here it's nice and easy, but over here it's like now things are crazy. It goes from easy to crazy busy. <laughs> that's that's what this is. It's like you, all of a sudden your schedule is packed. You're, you're here at the beginning of the month and you're enjoying life and everything is nice and easy. And then all of a sudden it's like things open up and it gets really exciting really, really, really fast. So take the time to rest at the beginning when you can. Because I don't think by the end of the month you're going to be resting. I think you're going to be out having fun. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be living life. Um... You're going to be really, really recognized for some reason. People are going to be recognizing you. Um, you do have somebody around that is, uh, well, we got this three of cups reversed. Anyway, you have somebody around that is very, very curious about you. And, you know, but I see, let's see this is socializing. You may be reluctant to socialize with somebody. My advice is to open up. Open up, okay? Open up. Don't, 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 don't keep hiding yourself from the world. I feel like this is a month where you should be out celebrating. I think there's going to be an opportunity. There's going to be celebrations. There's, there's going to be an opportunity to, you know, go out with friends and have fun. And my advice is to take risks. Take risks in month number two. You have, a, you have a new beginning here. You have an opportunity to start fresh with somebody. But I feel like you are going to feel overwhelmed with it. I do. I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed with this opportunity. If you have not met this person yet, you're definitely going to meet this person at some sort of celebration. Celebration, celebration. Seriously. And this is like a celebration as well. It's like there's a bunch of people around. Okay, there's people... You know, you, you say you're in the middle of a room and there's people uh, uh, in every, wherever you look, there's people. That is where you're going to be with this person, whoever this person is. There's there's people everywhere. And uh, I mean, it starts out as you're alone and you're just happy and boom, it is a boom. It's like a boom. Here it is. Oh, oh I'm trying not to swear, 
but you guys are really stuck. You are sacrificing yourself need. I, I put this in. Okay, you're sacrificing yourself needlessly. You're wasting your time holding on to something. Oh my goodness gracious. Resisting change. It's like it's time to let go. It is. It's like you have to look at things from a new perspective, a new outlook. We have somebody here that is refusing seriously. It's like pushing people away that you that could help you. You have an exciting opportunity to start something new here, but somebody is so reluctant to let go of something that does not serve them. It's an old relationship. That's why this came out reversed. It is. You have a new opportunity here that could really make you happy. Please, please let go of whatever it is that you are hanging on to. Please. Wow, four of... Four, why did I say four? Because I saw the four. Temperance reverse. This is frustrated. This is extremes. This is extremes highs and lows. This is lack of harmony, lack of balance. One minute you want to move on, the next minute you don't. And this again is resisting change. Temperance is about evolving. It is about change. Exchanging something for something better. But this is resisting it. There's so much resistance here. I have to tell you that you have an opportunity for an exciting new start here to start with a clean slate. This is very exciting. Don't let fear that, you know, if you let go of whatever it is that you're hanging on to, that's going to come back around after you let go. It's not going to come back around. That is a dead end. Here's your dead end right there. Just happen to look on the bottom. After I said that. We have somebody here that is holding on to a dead end. And that is a dead end. Let's read this one. Unfinished sympathy. Symphony. Symph <laughs> it's Mercury retrograde shadow. I can't talk. Symphony. Unfinished business. An incomplete lesson. Lack of closure. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. Moving on Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It is important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be and declare your feelings if only to yourself. Be clear about what is left unresolved and close the door on the past so that you can set yourself free. Only then can lo new love blossom. You guys need to set yourself free, please. Please. And you know, it's so funny that I was reluctant to do this reading. I was very reluctant to do it. Because I know, I feel it. I feel it very heavily. You guys are so, you don't want to hear it. I knew that I was going to deliver a message that you don't want to hear. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. 
but there will be that one person that comments below that I have already let go. Bullshit. And if you have, this reading is not for you. Month number three. Month number three. I uh, already recorded month number three, but apparently didn't record, so we're going to do it over. Retreat. An orphanage. So retreat is you need to take a break. Okay, you're going to need to take a break this month. You're going to need to go within. You're going to need to go into nature. Okay, you need to take a time out and go into nature. Uh, take time to breathe. Take time to think about what's going on in your life. Um, alone. Alone. You're going to need to do this alone. Like you're going to need to take a minute to get outside by yourself. And I don't mean just a minute. That's the wrong word. A retreat is a period of time. Maybe it could be a whole day. It could be a whole weekend. Um, you're going to need time to get get into nature so that you can rejuvenate your soul, so that you can listen, so that you can heal, so that you can do what you need to do to get the messages that uh, you haven't been hearing. You haven't been hearing certain things because life has been so busy. You may, I, you know... I feel like you guys have been really focused on something, uh, an obsession of some sort. And we're going to get to this in a minute. Uh, this is about obsession. The Four of Pentacles is about obsession. We're going to talk about obsession in just a second here. Orphanage or orphaned. Orphaned. So I'm going to read that orphaned card um, because it's very prominent for you. Obsession. I'm going to give you an example of an obsession. An obsession such as Twin Flame. Twin flame is an obsession, okay? It's an, it's an infatuation, okay? Your soul is whole. You were born a whole soul. Your soul did not split apart at birth, okay? That soul, when you, when you came down into your mother's body, it was one soul. It wasn't two souls, okay? Twin flame is an infatuation. It is. It's an obsession with another person. One broken heart came up with it, and another broken heart fed on, and the rest of the broken hearts fed on, and now it's a money-making industry. Just so you know. Orphaned. We're going to read that one first. It's an infatuation with another person. Everybody wants to have that fantasy. And yes, we all get the opportunity to have that love, to have that special love with somebody. We all have it. We all, there's, it's not, we all have the opportunity. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Soulmates, whole souls, just like we are. We have multiple opportunities for soulmates. Okay. So there, and I feel like you have an opportunity for a new soulmate connection. You do. But somebody is holding on to an illusion, some sort of illusionary story that they were fed. Or maybe maybe that's your own belief, and that's fine. You can believe whatever you want. But that hangman that we've had so far both times tells me that we have somebody here that is stuck and, and, and resisting and obsessed on something that it's like it isn't really real. And it's not real. It's not real. But, you know... Um, Getting caught up in that illusion is so easy. It's so easy because it's, it's, it's what we all want. It's what we all want. And we all ha will get that. We all will have that probably more than once in our lifetime. We will have that, those intense feelings with another person. We may not ever have it, but most, most likely we will have it. Um, but you, I really, there's an energy of resistance here and, and obsession, obsession over one, over one person. Anyhow, it's, it's sad. It is very sad. It is. It makes me sad to feel that the, the obsession is so great. Um, orphaned, a sense of loss. An identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. We were all meant to have connections with other people within our family, society, and the larger culture. No man 
is an island and it's important to recognize that being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being the issue at hand is the need to find where you fit be true to your core truths and values perhaps you are no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation you might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit it's okay okay to let go of pressure to fit in not everyone will understand you it's time to move on it's time to move on as you shift and evolve you commit to your own growth and we have somebody here that has been resisting evolving but that hey man total in total resistance as you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing you what you think you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you are in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the tr same values and beliefs so you feel left out. Unable to get that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda. There's a reason why you are watching me. Keep that in the back of your mind, okay? You were led to me for a reason. What is fantasy and what is not? What is infatuation? The shadow side of this card speaks to the essence of abandonment. Perhaps you feel a need to remain apart because intimacy is too threatening. It also warns against creating in inappropriate structures in order to conceal old wounds. It's time to address the unhealthy alliances you've formed and make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as a whole. Well, son of a bitch. I didn't read this part in the last one. You have to quit. You are whole. <laughs> not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Don't abandon yourself. Please don't abandon yourself for some fantasy that <laughs> people are selling you. Oh my God. Life wants to love you. Please let it. Please, please, please. Knight of Swords. The Sun. Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel as though, uh, Scorpio, things are happening fast. The changes are happening fast. You have happiness here. This is a big, bright opportunity, an opportunity for renewal, an opportunity for happiness here. Definitely a happy relationship here. This is this is a relationship that can grow into something really, really beautiful. This could be very harmonious. It could be everything that you ever asked for. If you would just give it a chance and stop focusing on the pain that you have been, the loss that you have been focusing on. You notice there's a celebration in the background. There's an opportunity to celebrate your life and have fun and start over and just be extremely happy with somebody if you would let them this i feel as though if you are the uh, male scorpio you have an opportunity with a queen of pentacles this is somebody who has money this is somebody that is very grounded very balanced somebody that is down to earth this person takes very good care of herself takes very good care of others this person is a hard worker. This person, it doesn't chase other men. This person is loyal. You notice she's waiting for somebody to come to her. Somebody is, I mean, so if you are dealing with a queen of pentacles and you are the male watching this, this queen of pentacles is waiting for this arrival. She's waiting for somebody to come to her. She knows her value. She's not the easy queen. Okay. She's not easy. 
she's she's down to earth and she's easy to get along with but she definitely knows her value if you are the female watching this this is you taking on this energy it's like you have a lot to offer and you know it and so it looks as though somebody is coming in somebody is going after this individual they are they're coming in very very quickly it's like they see a big bright opportunity they see somebody that is shining somebody that is glowing and they want it it's like they know what they want and they go for it so i think that this is uh, something happening very, very fast. It could lead to happiness. It could lead to stability. Whoever this person is, this person is stable. This person has the, has a good job. This person is a hard worker. This person can provide for you. Um, and this could lead to a lot of happiness. This person... Um, wants to build a long-term relationship. They do. Um, but we have one person that wants to move fast and one person that wants to move slow. I think that, um, that could be some sort of opposition that you're dealing with during this month is that, you know, there's uh, a need to slow down and, and we have somebody here that wants to really, uh, move quickly. Um, I feel like this, this month is, we, we have somebody here that is grieving over a loss. They are still grieving over a loss and they have an opportunity they're thinking about a past relationship that has ended you see this five of cups the three cups is looking down here at this relationship when there's an opportunity there's another opportunity for happiness if you could just look at that instead we have somebody looking at a past relationship that has already ended tens or completions when there's an opportunity for another for for more happiness there is but you have to see it you have to look at it you have to realize it I feel like um, it's time to be practical. It's time to get real. There is a real opportunity here that is, it's like it's being missed because of, you know, a loss. Oh, God, that Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is, there's, there's your dead end. It's, it's like holding on to those old ideas, holding on to those old ways. It is seriously time to uh, let it go. This is exhausting. We have somebody here that um, really needs to withdraw. You really, really, really need to withdraw from your old ways, your old ways of thinking. What Six of Wands, it's, it's time for you to uh, be recognized. Hold your head up high. Somebody recognizes your... your They recognize you. Look at all the people here recognizing this person's. It's like beauty. And this is, and I'm not just talking about outer beauty. You can see this person's gentleness. You can see this person's kindness. It's like you have somebody here that will recognize who you really are. But if you, you can't see it, you can't see that people can see your beauty. They can see your character. But it's like your, your sacrifice, like the hay man we saw before in the last two months. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly for somebody that doesn't recognize you. There's great personal fear. There's great personal fear of uh, getting hurt again. There's hard feelings over the past. It's like you don't trust anybody now, right? Because of the last person that abandoned you. This new person that is coming into your life, I think this person has come in unexpectedly. They've come in pretty quickly. I think whether they've come in in the months before, they're coming in this month. This is this is somebody arriving into your life or has arrived very very quickly. And there's it's almost like there's a fear of letting go of the one that broke you for fear that they'll come back. It's like what if I get involved with this other person and then they come back? This other person is not coming back. Just so you know, do you hear me? This person's not coming back. So stop waiting for them. 
you have somebody coming in that um, this is the rods of love. This is this is uh, news arriving. This is messages coming back and forth. We have somebody here that wants to communicate with you. They want to move forward with you. But you're still in pain, right? You're still hurting. You're still suffering. You're letting yourself. This is a painful separation. We have somebody here that is still grieving over a rejection. When you have a new opportunity here. So in December, you're still grieving. I mean, that you are. And it's like you have people that are recognizing you and they want to give you something. I mean, they see your beauty and they're, they just... What, they see that they could be happy with you, but you won't give them a chance. Justice. It's time to make that final decision. This is final. It, and, and, and it is final. The decision has already been made by this person that rejected you. And it's time for you to make that final decision. This is finality. To bring balance back to your life. You guys are letting yourself be weighed down by a situation that is karmic. It's time to do the right thing for yourself. And that includes taking that blindfold off. Take the blindfold off. Open your eyes. Accept the truth. See the truth. It's like the universe is trying to bring you the person that you deserve. Not the fantasy. I feel as though in December you are going to be, it's like you have somebody here that, it's like the universe, this is universal law. See, I just happened to notice that law. It's like the universe is trying to bring you somebody that can help you to heal. This person can make you happy. This person can help you to heal from that karmic contract that you have been hanging on to. And for that person that says, I'm not hanging on to anybody for the last time. This reading is not for you. There could be some upcoming legal issues in December. Because this is the this is the death of an idea. Somebody could be filing for divorce. Could be a sudden decision. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be loved. I deserve recognition. We have a final decision being made in December. That is a final decision. Somebody is coming in with a solid, stable opportunity for you. This will be your choice. Do you choose to continue to grieve over a loss? Or do you choose to be happy? The choice is yours in December. Go outside. Get out in nature. Take time. And I mean a good period of time. To rejuvenate. To listen alone. You need solitude during this month. You need solitude to heal. There's healing involved here this month. Healing. Over a loss. Three of swords is a loss. And this is a loss. An acceptance. It is what it is. Six of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that has been reluctant to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach. Reluctant to accept the truth. Reluctant to see the truth. Reluctant to see the truth. You see the, ma the uh, mask over her eyes and the, the justice, the truth. Reluctant to see the truth. You got somebody else here. Let go of the fantasy. Good luck.